The Union Scotties were still looking for their first victory of the 89 campaign this past Friday night. Meanwhile, the Laurel Spartans were looking to stay undefeated in Tri-County North play. Let's take a look at what happened in last Friday night's ball game. We'll pick up action in the first quarter of play with Union with the football. As we told you, it's also homecoming night for the Scotties this evening. Quarterback Robbie Noga handing the ball off, but that Spartan defense, I tell you, I've seen it. It is one tough defense, and they're hoping for the same this Friday when they take on Laurel. Union has to give up the football. Chris Hupko did it all in this ball game. Scored two touchdowns, kicked a field goal, also caught a two-point conversion uh, in the ball game. Hands off to Tom Barker. Barker, the big workhorse, with Jeff Calderero out because of a knee and also an ankle injury. Scotty's played the Spartans tough in that first quarter of play. In fact, uh, held the Spartans scoreless. See a nice knockdown of a Hubco pass there. Chris now tries to pick up a first down for Laurel, but uh, is unable to do so. So the Scotty's defense holds early on. No score, as you see it coming up on the four-minute mark of the first quarter of play. Rob no game. The quarterback for Union, Nogue looking for somebody to pass to. Nice catch made here, but fumble. And it is Laurel football, so the Spartans take over following the turnover by Union, which has plagued the Scotties all year on holding on to that football. Hup go to the center. Now the Spartans will start getting things going offensively. Hand off to Barker, looks for a hole. That's what he's so good at, looking for the hole, and all of a sudden, boom, he's there and picks up yardage. 77 yards on 16 carries for Barker in the contest. Hupko, there he is. When he's out of the open, he is tough. Carries it close inside the 10-yard line. Now Hupko hand off to Barker, leaps over the line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Laurel. Spartans lead it 6 to nothing. Hupko will add the extra point to a 7 to nothing Spartan lead as the cheerleaders and so forth love it early on in the second quarter of play. Laurel on top, 7-zip on the ensuing kickoff. Union getting the football. Good return here. The Scotties will end up with a good field position uh, against Laurel. As, but that Spartan defense, it is tough. And uh, the Scotties found it tough on uh, last Friday evening. Nice catch made here, but uh, good move too. As uh, the Scotties, one of their better plays uh, of the football game as the cameraman gets wiped out in, uh, in that play. Thank goodness it wasn't our cameraman though because we wouldn't have been able to show you that play uh, made by the Scotties. Hupko under center. Chris looking for somebody to pass to. Nice catch made by the Spartans as again Laurel starts to drive on Union. Hupko keeps the football five yard touchdown run. That was the first of Hupko's two touchdowns on the evening. He'll tack on the extra point as he does it all. Punts, kicks off, extra points, and uh, field goals, and scores the touchdowns too. So 14 0 to, to the delight of some of the Laurel fans on hand for the ball game, as the cheerleaders also keep the crowd entertained. 14 0 at this point, a Laurel on top, and they're driving the football again. Hupko with the pump fake looking. And this is what he can do so well. Make something out of nothing. Watch this move here. The spin is able to pick up about 10 extra yards after that spin move. We told you, of course, Hupko does do it all. He kicks field goals, too. And uh, his foot could be a difference in a lot of games this year. Hupko will bang home. Watch the distance on this, too. Has plenty of room. Hits the band shelter. 23-yard field goal for Chris Hupko. A 17 to nothing Laurel halftime lead as uh, the Scotties with the football trying to get something going offensively. Look at that hit by Laurel. Oh, that's their defense. It is tough and ferocious. And it was all night. Rob Nogay fumbles a snap of the Scotties are able to uh, pounce on top of it. The Union plagued with turnovers throughout the season as uh, the Scotties are wondering what they can do to score against this Laurel defense. Spartans on offense. Hupko, nice pass over the middle. Eddie Malls with the catch, takes it closer uh, to the Scotty end zone. Then a play, Laurel loves to run, and Hupko loves to run, keeps the ball himself, goes into the end zone for a touchdown, talking with George Miles. It's a play that's not planned. Hupko sees it, just taps the center, and goes up the middle. Here the Spartans try for the two-point conversion. Guess who? That's right, Chris Hupko from a pass 
from Danny Pontius, and now it's a big, big lead. Uh, he should be playing for uh, Mohawk, don't you think? Ron Plano trying to think of something to do offensively against the Spartan defense, but no go. Laurel would score one more time. So does Union. Final 31-6, Laurel. This week, it's the Battle of the Unbeatens at Laurel, and the Spartans will take on the top-ranked Farrell Steelers in a Tri-County North showdown. Meanwhile, the Scotties, still looking for their first victory of the season, will take on the Nishanik Lancers. While the Shenango